Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, Chaos, Niagara, how to set up uh, an explosion, uh, how to play a bit with the slow motion of sequencer. So the idea is to have a first big explosion with uh, just Chaos. We're gonna spawn some particles uh, from the the break data, the collision data, and a bit of with the trail data of the simulation. Uh, after doing that, we're going to use particle to spawn some fluids. Uh, we can see some here. So, for this demonstration video, I use the <coughs> Unreal 5.2, uh, but I'm gonna create the tutorial on 5.1 because there is a lot of problem with uh, fluid shader on 5.2. Okay, so this is a simple scene, uh, nothing special here. We're gonna use some classic meshes. Maybe more thin, like this. So I duplicate these meshes to create a wall. I want like this part be concrete, and I want a part of marble to have different material to have something more interesting during the explosion because this is a different material this is a different reaction different shattering shape no okay so I just take uh, material on mega scan Marble for here and concrete here. Okay, so we get our wall. The first thing to do is to shatter all these meshes. I'm gonna create two collection with the uh, fracture tool uh, to create a geometric collection we use this I create uh, 0 1 so here is my cluster Said this is your geometry collection. There is eight pieces inside the geometry collection, and I'm gonna create more level with this toolbox. You can choose how you want to break your mesh. I'm gonna use the cluster. Here you get uh, the detail panel uh, of the tool. Uh, I'm gonna start with big pieces. Like big pieces. Like this. Um, I don't want this. Okay, be a bit more. Like this. Okay, cool. So when you think you are good. Uh, the shattering you just hit fracture and beam you can use explode amount to see uh, the result okay it's cool so but what i want is uh, i'm going to create an explosion on the center of the wall so I'm gonna add more detail in the center. Okay, 
So I go back to my fracture and I don't know, I'm gonna add uh, more density. So more cluster. Okay, let's go. Cool, and in the middle, I'm gonna add very little pieces. Maybe a bit here, a bit here. No, why not? I add a new level here. Okay. And here you can see how I break it. So now I'm happy with it. I'm gonna save. Up. Now I want to break the concrete. Uh, so it's concrete, you know, it's not marble. So we need to have a different aspect. Uh, so this time I'm going to create 0, 2, back. So this is the same. I'm going to start with uh, big pieces. Yeah. OK. So this time I'm going to use the amplitude. Okay. So as you can see, this is not very sharp now. We have some volume inside and every piece is it's more like uh, a puzzle pieces. <laughs> Maybe we can show better if I remove this. You can kind of add more. Go back here and say point one. It's going to take more time. Okay. And we're going to add more detail, but with uh, a normal map. Because now, if you check, I get my material for the exterior part. And now I get this material for the interior part. So I can, you know, just create small material, a concrete interior. gonna use uh, this texture as albedo and I'm gonna use uh, want to add more detail on this one so I know normally I should use uh, you know a rock normal map but I use what I got <laughs> I'm gonna add a control to to add more uh, detail to force the, the strongest of the normal map. Okay. Okay. So now we get uh, 
our two geometry collection created with chaos so we are ready to break the wall to do that uh, i'm gonna use a bomb so and we provide uh, some uh, field you can control how wh which force gonna break the wall or add some uh, anchor the anchor is here to say okay everything into these meshes don't move so i'm gonna lock some part of the wall mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna link my geometry collection to this anchor. I do the same for this one. And now I'm gonna add a bomb. Giant bomb. The radius is scale. Um, so for the moment, is just uh, a force I can move around. But what I want is just an explosion. Here, uh, this is a constant damage. So I gonna set bomb. Uh, so here the bomb have a duration of 0.5 uh, is too much long. I want I want a blast. So I need something something very more quick. And uh, I have a delay of one second before the explosion. Uh, let's see what happened. And boom. Uh, there is a big piece. Oh. This piece need to be break, and probably this one too. So I'm gonna back to fracture mud. and I'm gonna pick. So we say. This one, this one. I want cluster. Nope. Yep. Still have my amplitude. Mm, I think I can add detail. So more you use uh, amplitude and frequency for the noise um, more the simulation is complicated to calculate because there is more volume there is more collision uh, so it's better to stay uh, to don't abu don't abuse uh, of the noise so I'm gonna keep a bit like this. Okay, to finish, what I want is to add. I want to have a first break, like here, but I want a second reaction for the panel of marble 
on the side. So I'm going to use the propagation of the explosion to do that. Uh, I'm going to back in selection. I take my marble I go to detail of the geometry collection. And here you can find um, somewhere the propagation data. OK, it's enabled. Uh, add this. Hmm. And boom, as you see, we start to lost some parts around the explosion. Okay. So if you want to have a better view of what happened during the destruction, what you can do is just add a this. You can just add a level sweep sequence. I can destroy one. Is my master. What I'm gonna do is just slow mo the 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 scene like this, and here if I hit play, we wait for the second. Who is became like five seconds before the destruction. can play with the timeline like okay so the break happen here so I'm gonna slow mo here add the sequence here I'm gonna add to my level Let's say play cinematic. Put this here. Okay, now. Okay, so now we have uh, our main uh, destruction. What we're going to do is to add a lot of detail. Because 